Hi guys! Welcome to our PE and computer review. But, but first, let's have our PE. Okay, so remember the terminologies, okay? So these are all multiple choice. So remember the meaning of location, the place where your movement is done. Okay, you can go behind, in front of, under, over, an object, or a person. For this one, meron si teacher na pictures and you are going to identify its location. Now, remember also the meaning of space. It is the area around you where your body can move. Also, the meaning of personal space, the space or area surrounding you where you can move with your body extensions. And then, the general space, the meaning is the total area which you share with other pupils during an activity. So, remember, these are all multiple choice. And also, this one. Remember, we this one is up, down, forward, backward, sideways. As you can see in the picture, this one is going up, okay? For this one is identification, the picture is there, and you are going to write the uh, direction, okay, of the movement goes. So, this one is up, down, as you can see, this one is forward, the arrow is going forward, and this one, the arrow is back, so this one is backward, and this one is sideways, alright? Now, for level, remember this one, level of movement refers to the relationship of your body to the floor or materials when moving. Remember the meaning, okay? And then we have the low level movement. These are below the waist, okay? It can be crawling, half knee bending, kneeling, lunge position, lying and sitting okay so this one low level movements are also called deep level movements all right so after the low level we have the middle level movements these are movements done between your shoulders and your waist okay the examples are walking jogging and running and the last one we have the high level movements Involve movements done above your shoulders, okay? So, from your here, if the movement is in your head, then it's a high-level movement. Upward, hands up, okay? Twisting your head, okay, pa? Bend your head, so that's high-level movement. Or also, the jumping and leaping are the high-level movement. This one, uh, remember... Okay, Paul, remember the meaning? It's in multiple choice. The route or the pathway you take from one place to another is called what? Pathway, all right? And then we have the pathways can be straight, zigzag, or curved, okay? Now, we have the planes. The plane of movement refers to the extent or how far or how near your body at the legs or your arms move away from your body okay so this one is near these are the examples of near and these are the examples of far near means your arms and legs move a little only well the far means your arms and legs move away from your body it's far okay so remember the planes of near or far Next, we have our computer. The first lesson in our computer are the factors that can affect your computer. First is the computer virus. We have another one is the right program. Make sure that you are using the licensed and original versions and not the pirated ones. And also, it also affect the, hard, the space of your hard disk. Okay? So, you need to remove some of your files that are not needed for you to improve your computer speed. And also, your it can also affect 
because of your microprocessor speed or low memory. Okay? It can affect the performance of your computer. And of course, the electric power and failure. Before, this one um, caused my my computer, my laptop camera not to function because before I have the, the computer, the camera in my laptop is functioning but because of frequent um, electric power failure that is happening here in our area, then it's not working anymore. That's why I bought a new one. Okay? And also, the dust and the smoke can affect your computer. The food and drinks okay and also the magnets and magnetic object and stream temperature if it is too hot and then flood and flood if you live in a flood prone area make sure to keep them safe from water and also the lightning and the thunderstorm better to turn it off your computer so we have also the hardware the software and the people wear the hardware refers to the physical parts of a computer that can be seen or touched like the mouse the keyboard the monitor okay so they are those are the hardware what about the software these are the programs inside your computer like the youtube the class dojo what else the edmodo microsoft paint those are the software what about the people wear the people wear are refers to the person who have the ability to use and enhance performance of your computer the like computer technician teachers students they are the people wear okay so next so this one it's identification also you will write h or s or p if it is hardware software and peopleware all right now let's move to the next one it is the keyboard okay it is the input device and this is the parts of the keyboard we have the function keys the cursor keys the alphanumeric keys and the numeric keys okay so the function keys are this one okay from escape to f1 to f11 f12 then this one okay and then the alphanumeric is the group is the biggest part of the keyboard this one okay and it it composed of alphabets numbers and other keys and the cursor key, these are the arrows that are used to change the location or movement of cursor on your screen. Alright? And the last one, we have the numeric keys. They look like a calculator. Next, we, after the keyboard, we talked also about the, the button. Okay? So, the parts of the, the mouse yeah after the keyboard we talked about the mouse not the button <laughs> funny 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 okay so the parts of the mouse we have the long wire the scroll wheel and then the right mouse button the left mouse button and the palm rest so you need to memorize the parts of the mouse and the function we have the point the click the double click click the double click the right click drag and wheeling okay so here you need to know the parts and the function identification also and now let's proceed with the other input device that will help you give commands on your computer we have the joystick and the game controller the stylus or the pen input the digitizers and graphic and then the digital camera the scanner and the last one is the barcode reader okay so that's all everyone and see you tomorrow tomorrow i love you tomorrow bye